you've adopted many false beliefs about what it means to be highly sensitive from people who didn't understand. Realize that there is nothing wrong with you. There is nothing to fix. There's only wonderful aspects to discover. You are not fragile. You're acutely perceptive and there is a difference. And when you feel alone or misunderstood or devastated that others don't perceive the things that you do, please know that there are others like you. Start caring more about how you feel, not what other people think about you. Recognize sooner what lifts your moods, what lowers your moods, and talk about what can be, not what can't be. When someone tells you that it can't be done, it actually reflects more about their capabilities than yours. And remember, what other people choose to criticize or to focus on reveals more about them than what it does about you. So do your best to just observe. Don't take things personally. And another tip that I wish somebody told me as a HSP years ago is that those unwelcome experiences, they are the ones that end up teaching you the most. Those unpleasant experiences will teach you to grow up. They will test your level of discernment where your boundaries lie, they will indicate your level of self-love and they force you to assess honestly the areas in which you need to wake up. We are the only ones who are responsible for taking ourselves out of detrimental situations that aren't good for us and situations in which we are extremely overwhelmed. We tend to tolerate things out of guilt or low self-worth or fear of what will people think of us. Make decisions that support your physical, psychological and spiritual well-being. Another one is set an example of how you like to be treated. Don't wait. Ask. Don't tolerate. Communicate your preferences. Because of our heightened sense of awareness, we are very quick to observe when someone else is tired or they've had enough or they're not in the mood. So we falsely assume that everybody else should be able to tell when we've had enough, when things are getting too much for us. And when they don't, we feel hurt. But non-HSP may not be as acutely observant of all the details we are so finely tuned to see. And it doesn't mean that they don't love us. It means that we need to communicate when we have had enough, when things are getting too much for us, when things are too bright, too loud, and we are getting too overstimulated. Asking for what you need, communicating your limits to others is a big part of self-love and you maturing as a highly sensitive person. Self-worth, self-respect, and self-love. There's a reason why all of these start with self and that's because you can't find them in anyone else and it all starts with you your thoughts and emotions don't control you you are in control of your thoughts of your emotions not the other way around through your thoughts alone you get to choose how long you're going to spend with that thought how long are you going to allow yourself to think a certain way we are the only ones responsible for what goes on in our mind. And situations happen, but it's not the situation. It's the story that we tell ourselves about the situation. And we can tell a different story. We can choose to turn our wounds into wisdom. But that is a choice that only you can make. So learn to embrace and nurture your gift of sensitivity. And the most empowering tip that I'd love you to truly grasp 
is that by you embracing your sensitivity, by you changing the false beliefs that you have about this gift of sensitivity, and by you becoming an empowered, highly sensitive soul, you have the power to change the outcomes for generations to come. And it's exciting for me to think about how many more awesome, brilliant people are waking up to their gift of sensitivity. And I feel privileged to have the opportunity to even play some small part in them realizing this. If I ever saw you in person, this is exactly what I would say to you. You are capable, you are valuable, and you are worth it. I hope you take some of these tips to heart and I hope they empower you to remember who you are.